Section 63 of English Synonyms and Antonyms. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, visit LibriVox.org. English Synonyms and Antonyms by James Champlin Fernald. Taciturn to Time. Taciturn. Synonyms. Close. Dumb. Mute. Reserved. Reticent. Silent. Speechless. Uncommunicative. Dumb, mute, silent, and speechless refer to fact or state. Taciturn refers to habit and disposition. The talkative person may be stricken dumb with surprise or terror. The obstinate may remain mute. One may be silent through preoccupation of mind or of set purpose, but the taciturn person is averse to the utterance of thought or feeling and to communication with others, either from natural disposition or for the occasion. One who is silent does not speak at all. One who is taciturn speaks when compelled, but in a grudging way that repels further approach. Reserved suggests more of method and intention than taciturn, applying often to some special time or topic. One who is communicative regarding all else may be reserved about his business. Reserved is thus closely equivalent to uncommunicative, but is a somewhat stronger word, often suggesting pride or haughtiness, as when we say one is reserved toward inferiors. Compare pride. Antonyms. Communicative, free, garrulous, loquacious, talkative, unreserved. Tasteful. Synonyms. Artistic, chaste, dainty, delicate, delicious, elegant, aesthetic, aesthetical, exquisite, fastidious, fine, nice, tasty. Elegant, Latin, elegans, select, refers to that assemblage of qualities which makes anything choice to persons of culture and refinement. It refers to the lighter, finer elements of beauty in form or motion, especially denoting that which exhibits faultless taste and perfection of finish. That which is elegant is made so not merely by nature, but by art and culture. A woodland dell may be beautiful or picturesque, but would not ordinarily be termed elegant. Tasteful refers to that in which the element of taste is more prominent, standing, as it were, more by itself, while in elegant it is blended as part of the whole. Tasty is an inferior word used colloquially in a similar sense. Chaste, primarily pure, denotes in literature and art that which is true to the higher and finer feelings, and free from all excess or meretricious ornament. Dainty and delicate refer to the lighter and finer elements of chaste and beauty. Dainty, tending in personal use to an excessive scrupulousness which is more fully expressed by fastidious. Nice and delicate both refer to exact adaptation to some standard. The bar of a balance can be said to be nicely or delicately poised. As regards matters of taste and beauty, delicate is a higher and more discriminating word than nice, and is always used in a favorable sense. A delicate distinction is one worth observing, 
a nice distinction may be so or may be overstrained and unduly subtle fine in such use is closely similar to delicate and nice but though capable of an unfavorable sense has commonly a suggestion of positive excellence or admirableness a fine touch does something fine perceptions are to some purpose delicate is capable of the single unfavorable sense of frail or fragile as a delicate constitution aesthetic or aesthetical refers to beauty or the appreciation of the beautiful especially from the philosophic point of view exquisite denotes the utmost perfection of the elegant in minute details we speak of an elegant garment an exquisite lace exquisite is also applied to intense keenness of any feeling as exquisite delight exquisite pain see beautiful delicious fine antonyms clumsy coarse deformed disgusting displeasing distasteful fulsome gaudy grotesque harsh hideous horrid inartistic inharmonious meretricious offensive rough rude rugged tawdry teach synonyms discipline drill educate enlighten give instruction give lessons inculcate indoctrinate inform initiate instill instruct nurture school train tutor to teach is simply to communicate knowledge to instruct originally to build in or into put in order is to impart knowledge with special method and completeness instruct has also an authoritative sense nearly equivalent to command to educate is to draw out or develop harmoniously the mental powers and in the fullest sense the moral powers as well to train is to direct to a certain result powers already existing train is used in preference to educate when the reference is to the inferior animals or to the physical powers of man as to train a horse to train the hand or eye to discipline is to bring into habitual and complete subjection to authority discipline is a severe word and is often used as a euphemism for punish to be thoroughly effective in war soldiers must be disciplined as well as trained to nurture is to furnish the care and sustenance necessary for physical mental and moral growth nurture is a more tender and homelike word than educate compare education temerity synonyms audacity foolhardiness hardihood hastiness heedlessness overconfidence precipitancy precipitation presumption rashness recklessness venturesomeness rashness applies to the actual rushing into danger without counting the cost temerity denotes the needless exposure of oneself to peril which is or might clearly be seen to be such rashness is used chiefly of bodily acts temerity often of mental or social matters there may be a noble rashness but temerity is always used in a bad sense 
we say it is amazing that one should have had the temerity to make a statement which could be readily proved a falsehood or to make an unworthy proposal to one sure to resent it in such use temerity is often closely allied to hardihood audacity or presumption venturesomeness dallies on the edge of danger and experiments with it foolhardiness rushes in for want of sense heedlessness for want of attention rashness for want of reflection recklessness from disregard of consequences audacity in the sense here considered denotes a dashing and somewhat reckless courage in defiance of conventionalities or of other men's opinions or of what would be deemed probable consequences as the audacity of a successful financier compare effrontery antonyms care caution circumspection cowardice hesitation timidity term synonyms article condition denomination expression member name phrase word term in its figurative uses always retains something of its literal sense of a boundary or limit the articles of a contract or other instrument are simply the portions into which it is divided for convenience the terms are the essential statements on which its validity depends as it were the landmarks of its meaning or power a condition is a contingent term which may become fixed upon the happening of some contemplated event in logic a term is one of the essential members of a proposition the boundary of statement in some one direction thus in general use term is more restricted than word expression or phrase a term is a word that limits meaning to a fixed point of statement or to a special class of subjects as when we speak of the definition of terms that is of the key words in any discussion or we say that is a legal or scientific term compare boundary diction terse synonyms brief compact compendious concise condensed laconic neat pithy sententious short succinct anything short or brief is of relatively small extent that which is concise latin con with together and cado cut is trimmed down and that which is condensed latin con with together and densus thick is as it were pressed together so as to include as much as possible within a small space that which is compendious latin com together and pendo way gathers the substance of a matter into a few words weighty and effective the succinct latin succinctus from sub under and single gird girded from below has an alert effectiveness as if girded for action the summary is compacted to the utmost often to the point of abruptness as we speak of a summary statement or a summary dismissal that which is terse latin tersus from tergo rub off has an elegant and finished completeness with the smallest possible compass as if rubbed or polished down 
to the utmost. A sententious style is one abounding in sentences that are singly striking or memorable, apart from the context. The word may be used invidiously of that which is pretentiously oracular. A pithy utterance gives the gist of a matter effectively, whether in rude or elegant style. Antonyms Diffuse Lengthy Long Prolix Tedious Verbose Wordy Testimony Synonyms Affidavit Affirmation Attestation Certification Deposition Evidence Proof Witness Testimony in legal as well as in common use signifies the statements of witnesses. Deposition and affidavit denote testimony reduced to writing. The deposition differs from the affidavit in that the latter is voluntary and without cross-examination, while the former is made under interrogatories and subject to cross-examination. Evidence is a broader term including the testimony of witnesses and all facts of every kind that tend to prove a thing true. We have the testimony of a traveler that a fugitive passed this way. His footprints in the sand are additional evidence of the fact. Compare demonstration, oath. Therefore, synonyms, accordingly, because, Consequently, hence, then, thence, whence, wherefore. Therefore, signifying for that, or this reason, is the most precise and formal word for expressing the direct conclusion of a chain of reasoning. Then carries a similar but slighter sense of inference which it gives incidentally, rather than formally, as, quote, All men are mortal. Caesar is a man. Therefore, Caesar is mortal. Close quote. Or, quote, The contract is awarded. Then there is no more to be said. Close quote. Consequently, denotes a direct result but more frequently of a practical than a theoretic kind, as, quote, Important matters demand my attention. Consequently, I shall not sail today. Close quote. Consequently is rarely used in the formal conclusions of logic or mathematics, but marks rather the freer and looser style of rhetorical argument. Accordingly, denotes correspondence, which may or may not be consequence. It is often used in narration as, quote, The soldiers were eager and confident. Accordingly, they sprang forward at the word of command. Close quote. Thence is a word of more sweeping inference than therefore, applying not merely to a single set of premises, but often to all that has gone before, including the reasonable inferences that have not been formally stated. Wherefore is the correlative of therefore, and whence of hence, or thence, appending the reference or conclusion to the previous statement without a break. Compare synonyms for because. Throng. Synonyms. Concourse. Crowd. Host. Jam. Mass. Multitude. Press. A crowd is a company of persons filling to excess the space they occupy and pressing inconveniently upon one another. The total number in a crowd may be great or small. Throng is a word of vastness and dignity, always implying that the persons are numerous 
as well as pressed or pressing closely together. There may be a dense crowd in a small room, but there cannot be a throng. Host and multitude both imply vast numbers, but a multitude may be diffused over a great space, so as to be nowhere a crowd. Host is a military term, and properly denotes an assembly too orderly for crowding. Concourse signifies a spontaneous gathering of many persons moved by a common impulse and has a suggestion of stateliness not found in the word crowd, while suggesting less massing and pressure than is indicated by the word throng. Time Synonyms Age, date, duration, eon, epoch, era, period, season, sequence, succession, term, while. Sequence and succession apply to events viewed as following one another. Time and duration denote something conceived of as enduring while events take place and acts are done. According to the necessary conditions of human thought, events are contained in time as objects are in space. Time existing before the event, measuring it as it passes, and still existing when the event is past. Duration and succession are more general words than time. We can speak of infinite or eternal duration or succession, but time is commonly contrasted with eternity. Time is measured, or measurable duration. End of section 63. Read by Dennis Sayers in Modesto, California, for LibriVox.